Come on, you rascals. My life is in her hands. Come on, girls. Man, look at this. It's the first set of cows in the new barn. Is that a good feeling? Yep. Well, good evening, everybody. It's a good... Well, okay. All right, well. Anyhow, good evening. It is a nice, sunny, dry day. And it's a good day to work some cows, especially in the new hook barn. So, I finally got all the stalls set up. And got them cleaned out except for the pile of lime in that one and the tractor and doors in that one. I don't know why I didn't get those out. But I didn't get those out. But anyhow, we've got four heifers in here. And we're going to be doing a little prairie checking today. And maybe a little something that y'all ain't ever seen before. But we're going to be doing the blood test. And they are shoot side. Which means that we're going to know tonight what they are. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But... I have got the alleyway set up, I've got the stalls set up, and we're going to hope for the best. Hopefully this all works out good, and uh, we get these heifers in here and get them preg check, and hopefully they're all bred, especially the two that are going bye-bye tomorrow. Uh, a guy came and bought them, these two right here. They are headed just down the road, um, so I told the guy to preg check them for him and see what we did we ate out all of these except for that one ended up getting the bull put with her because she came back in heat a couple times um hopefully she took so we'll find out hopefully these two are bred hopefully that one's bred because i'm going to show her and well, hopefully they're all bred but those are the important ones so we'll uh see how all this goes all right michaela what are we doing today okay we are preg checking our heifers and is it so, is it a normal preg check like everyone else does not, this is a much cooler preg check we used to have to draw blood and drive it or mill it off somewhere and it would take several days to find out if they were bred or not so now they have these instant pregnancy tests we draw blood we drop it on kind of like a normal pregnancy test <laughs> and then wait 20 minutes and we can find out if they're bred or not Yep, so these are IDEX. Um, the only place that I have found to be able to get these is Bovine Light. They're like, what, like $8 a piece, mm -hmm. something like that. So um, maybe a little more expensive than taking it to the lab, but you ain't got to take it there and you know in 5 to 20 minutes. So we are going to uh, get Heifer in the chute and we'll show you all how this works. Now, I ain't trying to brag or nothing. But that worked out pretty daggum good, if I do say so myself. 
All right, so we are going to draw blood, and the best place to do that is going to be right. Well, I need a paper towel. All right, so we're going to draw blood, and the best place to draw blood is there's a vein that runs through their tail, and you can kind of feel it with your finger. There's like an indention, and we're just going to take that. Stick it in there, and then draw out. Sometimes you gotta put your finger over that to help the blood clot up. Since that's kind of a main vein, it does leak a little bit. All right. All right, so we're gonna put this in our blood tube. You don't have to, but the thing is, is one, it's easier to get back out for the test. And if the test screws up, we've already let the heifer back out. We've got a little extra blood, we can run a new test. So we're gonna open up our package here and here is our what the tests look like um, this is the spot that tells you if it's pregnant or not and then this is where the blood goes and then there's like some kind of dilution that goes in after the blood but it, they give you these little sucker upper thingies and you just suck it up and you put so many drops how many drops is you supposed to put on here about five five drops six drops five six drops something like that into there and then you chase it with this little bit of dilution stuff you supposed to put like five. six or five or six drops six drops yeah. six drops of that in there and that sucks all that down and we'll just wait and see how it goes so we're gonna run the rest of the heifers through here and draw blood and we'll figure out who's bred and who's not Now I forgot on this last heifer, but I'm going ahead and worming them while I've got them in here. And we're using Sidectin. It's a uh, pretty daggum good wormer, a little pricey, but I like to have something good for them. We're gonna get the weight ready and we will just gonna guesstimate because we don't have a scale, but I'm pretty good at estimating. She and we're just going to put it on her right down her shoulder and her back and then i'll have to go back and do that heifer here in a second but that i didn't do but michaela's got her blood a going and you can see this one right here there's a line right there and that means that the test is good and then where the t is if that line shows up, it means she's bred, which I am seeing a faint one, so we'll hope that that comes on through and hopefully she's bred.
So I think, actually, I said five drops earlier. You're supposed to just put in there whatever you suck up out of that thing. The, what matters is the drops of the this diluting here. It's supposed to be six. The good news is, is I'm seeing lines on both of these, so that's good. That's good. Hopefully we see a line on that one and that one too. So fingers crossed. Well, let's see. Yeah. Uh, they can be faint. I think you all can see that. Let's see. Let me try to zoom in. Oh, look at that. There's a line there. That means she is bred. Mm -hmm. And then so, if we look here, see this is what I'm talking about. If there's a line on the T or there's nothing there, but nothing on the C, that means it's bad. If there's just a line on the C, it means it's a negative. And if there's a line on the C and the T, whether it's faint or very distinct, it is a positive. So she is bred. She is good to go. This one, there's a line on that one too. And there is a line on that one too. So we are three out of four. And we've got just one more left. So, well, my camera's decided to mess up. So fingers crossed, because she's my lucky heifer. And she's going to go North American. So she better be bred. She's a uh, pays to believe heifer, if anybody was curious. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Can't wait to get that brown shag off of her and get her clipped up and see how she looks. Yeah, I'm gonna take that as a positive. So, high five. Oh, I didn't get that in the thing. Hold on. High five. Four bred heifers. It's awesome. We'll drink to that tonight. So, yeah, so we're going to get these heifer turned back up in the field. Actually, these two that are, these two are getting sold tomorrow, or they're already sold, but the guys couldn't pick them up tomorrow. So we're going to keep them in the barn tonight. I'm going to throw some shavings down for them, um, give them a bucket of water a piece. And, yeah, so we're going to keep those. We'll turn these other two back out, get the other cow and calf, get the, all them, uh, Headed back up to the front field and call it a night. So, hopefully, y'all enjoyed that. I think it's pretty daggum neat to be able to do this stuff. Um, just a different way of doing it. Um, I think these tests can, they are like 99 or 98 percent accurate. Um, and I think there you can do 28 days after breeding. You can test them. Um, these have been bred for a couple months. So, but pretty daggum cool technologies. They had some shoot side stuff, but it was really complicated and I never used it. But I actually first seen these. Me and Michaela took an AI class back in college. Um, and they we did some stuff with these um, and tested them out. And I've been looking for them to come out on the market ever since. And they finally did. And like I said, um, bovine and light has them a bovine elite whatever however you say that um they're the only place that i can find to get them 
they're about eight dollars a piece but to me they're well worth it to be able to do something like this um just like i got a guy come get these two heifers i'm getting them preg checked tonight for him um so that's done and take care of so we're gonna get these back up in the field and uh, go in for the night because i'm about to wore out um and we had a pretty good successful night getting these calves checked so that's about all i got have a good one we'll see you later come on girls one see ya honey come on come on i guess you just like to stay in the barn come on let's go come on there we go boo delicious mm, mm. Mm. All right, girls, we got to head on back up. Come on, girls. Let's go.